Hello Saints, I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic day today. Now today's study is on the second dispensation called Conscience. Now we're going to look at the uh, this chart here and yesterday we talked about the dispensation of innocence and uh, that was the first one, Adam and Eve being created all the way up to their fall and the second one is in this area right around here uh, which is today's Conscience. Okay. Now, what I need, what I'd like to show you here is there's a six-part pattern, okay, within each dispensation, and the pattern you'll notice uh, that the first one is managers. Who were the managers inside of that dispensation, okay? And the second one is the time period of the dispensation. The third one is human responsibility. We have failure, judgment, and grace. Now. The managers for this dispensation of conscience, the one we're working at, uh, looking at today, is Cain, Seth, and their families. The time period is from the expulsion from the Garden of Eden until the flood. Uh, it's about a, uh, right around a thousand six hundred years. Human responsibility was to do good and offer blood sacrifices. Their failure was wickedness. Judgment was worldwide flood and God's grace was saving Noah and his family. Now, we look back at the dispensation chart, okay? And again, we're talking about early on here with Adam and Eve and Noah, okay? We haven't moved up through Abraham just yet. Now, God instituted this dispensation of conscience as a method for mankind to discern between good and evil. The dispensation of conscience took place in a time period between 4000 BC and 2300 BC. Now, in order to do good, mankind had to have a relationship with God through blood sacrifice. We see this in Genesis 4:4. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Now, almost immediately, people chose evil. Cain killed Abel because God accepted Abel's uh, blood, suck, blood sacrifice, but didn't accept Cain's grain sacrifice. Cain had a choice, clearly communicated by God, to choose good and obedience, and Cain refused, expecting God to fall in line with his own ideas and how to have a relationship with him. Now, during this dispensation of conscience, Mankind didn't do so well, violating their own conscience and failing to do what was right. Now, evidently, God wanted to demonstrate to mankind that conscience wasn't good enough to be their only guides. Uh, they had to depend on God alone. So, during this dispensation, only three people were actually declared righteous. We see Abel, Enoch, and Noah. In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 2 through 7 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous God testifying of his gifts and by it he being dead yet speaketh by faith Enoch was translated that he should see not uh, not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him by faith Noah being warned of of God of the things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an art to save to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith now we see what our Lord God was actually thinking during this time in Genesis in Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually but God found one man who was righteous 
Noah. God chose Noah to warn others as he built the ark for 120 years and not one listened to poor old Noah's warning. Now understand during this time Noah's building this ark, okay, in the middle of a place that they've never seen rain before. It, they didn't understand what rain was. And here's Noah saying it's going to rain, it's going to flood, and I'm building a boat in the middle of the desert. Now, can you imagine what they were thinking about this guy? They, they probably thought he was nuts, okay? Much like the world sees us as being nuts right now for, for talking about the rapture and being caught up and Daniel's week and all these things about to, to hit the, the this planet, okay, with the Antichrist and all that. Listen, the world sees us as a bunch of, a bunch of nuts, okay? But they're going to realize once everything's done that they should have paid attention. Just like... These people who are making fun of, of uh, Noah for 120 years, you know, doing something that he's saying, hey, look, guys, it's going to rain. It's going to flood. And people were looking at him, you know, first of all, what's rain? We don't even know what that is. And you're building this huge monstrosity in the middle of the desert. I mean, obviously, you know, they must have thought Noah lost his mind. So anyway, but, you know. God righteously judged the sin of the, those people and they suffered the consequences of their choices. But the human race also experienced God's mercy as well. Okay, God spared Noah and his family, showing how he could and would rescue the godly. And the third dispensation began, which is human government. And we'll get into that in the next video. Now today, those who aren't in a relationship with God through Jesus Christ are ruled by their conscience. We see this in Romans chapter 2, verse 15, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts that mean while accusing or else excusing one another. Just as Noah still needed God's rescue, so do we. The Apostle Peter points to Noah when he equates Noah's salvation as going through rebirth through the flood waters with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In 1 Peter chapter 3, 18 to 21, we read, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water, the like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now keep in mind, we're baptized into the Holy Spirit when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. It's only by Him that we can be saved. Look in Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there, there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. So, going back to the dispensation chart, we're going to look at where we've been uh, with the age of innocence, dispensation of innocence and conscience. And tomorrow we're going to be looking at human government. So we've covered two, we're working on three, and we're going to work through the, the uh, remaining uh, others and for a total of seven different dispensations. Hopefully this is helping you guys out there. Uh, you know, I just, I do this to edify my brothers and sisters out there, those that may not know this information. And my hope is that also is that, you know, it would plant some seeds out there perhaps to, to those who aren't saved. And, uh, you know, so I hope this is helping, guys. And uh, I'll be uh, making my next video on human government, which is the third dispensation. Peace and grace in Christ Jesus unto you and your families. And I'll see you on my next video.